Ago, the accused Craigslist killer took the stand himself. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live in Akron. Bob, did Richard Beasley help or hurt his case with this? Well, Lee, that'll be up to the jury to decide, but it's clear prosecutors believe that Richard Beasley came up with elaborate stories to cover up for the Craigslist crimes. On the stand today, Beasley blamed several people for the murders, but not himself. In a move that surprised many, Richard Beasley stood up from his wheelchair, took the witness chair, and then denied involvement in the Craigslist killings. I had no idea that somebody, anybody, had been killed down there in that farm. I had no way to know. There were heated moments during cross-examination when the prosecutor accused Beasley of luring Ralph Geiger to Southern Ohio and murdering him. Stuck a gun at the back of his head, just as you'd done with Scott Davis, not. pulled the trigger, Wrong. and shot him in the back of the head. You're a liar. I did not do that. And you didn't see it. Nobody, nobody testified to that in this court. It did not happen. Prosecutors believe they have overwhelming evidence that Beasley killed David Pauley, Geiger, and Tim Kern, and then buried their bodies, and that he tried to kill Scott Davis, the only survivor who ID'd Beasley as the gunman. All of them responded to a farm caretaker job posted on Craigslist. Today, Beasley claimed Davis tried to shoot him. It misfired three times about two feet from my face. Prosecutor John Baumel challenged that testimony. So Scott Davis was being untruthful about that, Absolutely, correct? positively, he lied through his teeth. But investigators believe Beasley is the liar. Today, he blamed others, including motorcycle gang members, for the killings and claimed the gang was after him because he was a police snitch. And during bizarre testimony, Beasley said Geiger allowed him to assume his identity. Beasley was wanted for a Texas parole violation and was trying to avoid detection. I thought that I was comfortable and secure living under the name Ralph Geiger. But the prosecutor left the jury with this question to consider. Did you benefit from Ralph Geiger's death? Yes. And the prosecution rested its case today. The defense is expected to rest tomorrow. Closing arguments are scheduled for Monday. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll show you another heated exchange between Richard Beasley and a Suffolk County prosecutor. Lee? Bob, there was talk that co-defendant Brogan Rafferty could testify, but apparently that's not going to happen now. It doesn't look that way, Lee. Apparently, the uh, prosecutors or the defense had them had him on their witness list, so either side could have called him, but it seems that they both felt that it would have been too risky to call the 17-year-old convicted murderer to the stand. They must have felt, apparently, that he wouldn't have helped either one of their cases. Well, as you said, bizarre a word that applies to a lot of what happened there in court today. Okay, Bob, thank this you. This case has been strange from the beginning, that's yes, for sure. Yes, it has. Thanks, Bob.